Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. I am so glad that you are here. Barbara, hello. She says, nine of us are chopping at the bit. Oh, nice. You guys were here early. Thank you. Hi, Michelle. So happy. It's Wednesday. I'm so excited to start this project, you guys, because I have no idea what I am going to do. Literally, uh, last night, I found a few more pieces of fabric, and that's as far as I got. Uh, I said I was going to wait until the live to um, just start playing around with things. So let's switch so you can see a little bit more on the cameras. There we go. I'll move my face to the other side. We'll see if that works out okay for people. Hey, Sue. Happy Wednesday to you, too. So let's see. Maybe we need to... Hey, Jen. Happy Wednesday. I got all this stuff to play with. Hey, Fiona. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Lori. Um, yeah, so I have to make some decisions. Hey, Susan, you made it. I know it's sometimes hard for you to juggle work things. Um, yeah, and I just kept getting more ideas. Hey, Kathy. I was thinking, you know, this lace, like I did the Book of Bling. You could do one that was all little scraps of lace like this. And then I remembered I had the felt and I was thinking, oh, you could just make a felt book and do laces on there. I So, yeah. Wow. So excited that you guys are going to play along with me or support me on the journey. Even if you're not playing along, that's fine. And what I usually do when I am starting a little book. Hey, Candice, welcome. Glad you're here. And Deb and Linda, oh my goodness, what a great crowd. What I normally do first is decided to, um, to pick the cover. Hey, Gun Marie. Barbara says, I've decided I'm going to use my black dialogue book and make fabric clusters and whatever. Nice. Yeah, I last night I was playing with the idea. I found a bunch of velvet and I thought, ooh, this isn't velvet, but it'll give you the same idea. What if I just did um, lace clusters on top of velvet? That could be really pretty. Hey, Sherry. Oh, what a great turnout. Boy, my light is going to be crazy today, it looks like. We've got, I don't know, it's going to be a little blown out. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so... I, I have so many options. I may end up making a couple of books. Fiona says, I've been gathering stuff. So watching tonight, didn't think I had enough, but I have a box full. That's exactly what happened to me. There's so many that I thought, and then I had so many ideas that I thought I'm going to end up making a few books. Hey, Victoria. And this is that brocade that I showed. Hey, Sandy, in the intro video. And one of the things I always do is kind of test, if I think I'm gonna do a lot of stitching, I like to test and see how easy it's going to be to stitch through. Boy, I wonder if I can, wait a minute, let me see if I can make some adjustments on the light going down on there. Uh, if I went to just, no, let's switch to this. It's so bright and I don't know why. Let's see if we can. Hmm. Maybe that's a little better. All right. Joanne says, you're not going to believe this, but I've been thinking about using black velvet too. Oh, please do, because I think I'm going to come back to that, but not probably in this thing. Sue says, I have black velvet, but I'm determined not to go there. I know from experience how not fun it would be to work with. Oh, wait a minute. Barbara said something about my book is a traveler's notebook size. I started it in January of 2021 and only have three things in it. So it clearly needs life breathed into it. Perfect. Yeah, Sue, what I was thinking about on the black velvet was to make the clusters, make white clusters, and then use my Fabri-Tac to glue them in. Linda says, I'm switching to the big screen to see all the goodness going on. So, okay, 
I love this fabric. It feels good. And it is important for me to have something that feels good in my hand if I'm going to my video, my video and little video are not in sync. I don't know why you mean that my voice is not in sync with my talking. Well, don't look at my face. I can take my face off of there. If that's bothering things, that's easy enough to do. My voice is faster than my mouth. I don't know if that has to do with the lag. Don't have much black, so I will just watch. But you know what? Okay. You could use white and then just accent it with black threads, black beads, black buttons. Wow. And now everything went dark. What the heck is going on with my lights? Okay. We will turn these on and that will help there. Although my face is going to be all blah, uh, or does it? Let me know. Is that better or worse? I don't think it's better. I think maybe I need to just take my face off of here today and see if we can work on that. Let's see. If we go to just this, nope. We'll go to just this and... I think this is just going to be really hard. Is it because we have the white in here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Corinne says, well, I came in and you're talking about taking your face off. Yeah. I wanted to see if that was going to make it any easier for you guys to see. One black page with um, overlaid with white elements, but mostly white pages with black stuff. Sounds great. Fiona says, I have seen the video of your basement, so that surprises me, Susan. Yeah, cameras do not like white. They have problems adjusting. It's just all the contrast on the desk that is messing your exposure. Okay. Well, then let's make some decisions and see if we can. Um, I definitely want to use this black. I'm going to move some of the white out of the way for cover. All right. So I know that. And what I don't know is, do I want to make, I think this one will be with solid colored pages. I think that's kind of what I was thinking of last night. That's as far as I got. I don't have to cut one for there. But then see, I can't resist. Sherry says, I have no book yet. Need to figure out a cover. I wanted to find a thicker fabric. Yeah, and this is going to end up being super thick because I don't want the brocade to show. So I'm going to fold it in half and sew it yet together. But then there was, I found this. And it's kind of a gray, but I think I can get away with it. It's my book. I can get away with doing it however I want, right? All right. So if this is a cover... And then this one's going to be with, okay, that is black and white, but it does nothing for me. So I think I'm going to put that aside. Uh, this is more white, so it's going to go in there. This is kind of a gray white. I'm going to end up with two, aren't I? I'm going to end up with two. Candace says, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go with white or off-white. Yeah, the off-white looks really nice. Hey, Terry, there she is. Hey, Lenny, welcome. I don't think I've seen you here before. Thank you for joining us. The um, This is like an off-white against the black, and I really like it. Hey, Michelle. All right, if I got to put my head down and concentrate, let's decide the size of the book. So... I like to go, as I said in the intro video, I like five page, well, four pages and then a cover because then I don't get bored working on a particular something. Is that going to be big enough? I think it is. All right. So then I need one more black. Do I have a solid? And I did. I found this black, solid black. 
Many blessings to Terry. Absolutely. Thanks for posting all her lives. Yeah, she's or all the links. She is so amazing. So grateful for Terry and for all of you. Okay, that's enough for one book. And because I just love the feel of this brocade. Let's see, I need to bring you there a little bit more. So we would have... That's one, two, three. Let's see if we can get away with that. Is that going to be, that's going to be narrow. That's okay. That is okay. All right. And then shoot for this. I don't like that one. It's got the glue on the other side. So, um, while I'm thinking about this, let's see. This is the hashtag I'll be using when I'm posting. So I hope you guys will use it too. See, now this makes a nice cover too. How is that going to be to go through? Oh, that's fine. I think this was a napkin, which crazy. So I could... One, not really white, white, one, shoot. All right, so maybe I should just stick with the one. We'll stick with the one. Let's make it easy. And I'll put that back up there again later. That brocade has enough white gray to contrast with any black clusters. Yeah, see, and I really, I love that. Ah, but, all right, so maybe we'll do that. One, two, three. This one's going to be a really, maybe I'll do that. It's just a dark book. That's kind of, yeah, okay. I think that's it. I think we have two books. And I still might do the, um, do a velvet one, but let's see. All right, so how big do we want these pages? Whoops. It's really nice if you have upholstery samples because they're like almost the right size. And these are gonna be simple books. Um, I don't know that I'll do any flip outs or anything with them. I might decide to, but probably not. Is that going to give me enough? And then I need to cut one out of here. All right. Enough talking. Get to cutting, right? And I was going to do some paper and Zentangles and, and mask, just a bunch of other stuff. And I decided that it was just going to be too much for me to try and do. I'm trying to do everything all at once in one, and I just can't. Um, I tend to overestimate how much I can handle. Nobody can relate, right? And I over, I, I, I would rather under promise and over deliver rather than over promise and under deliver. So I've been thinking about the Facebook group and I think I cut off more than I could chew in a couple of places. Oh, these are not my, these are not, I don't have my sewing scissors out here. This will, this will take a while. Um, the share something Saturday or Sunday, whatever day I did that on, I'm thinking I might do that like once a month instead of every week, because that gives us a month to collect really interesting links to share with one another. Uh, if there is somebody that would like to volunteer to take that over in the group, um, that would be awesome. If not, I will, I will do that schedule, but I think I'm going to do that to once a month. And I am debating whether or not you guys are interested enough in the sharing the wins, if that should be a weekly thing, or should that be a, maybe a once a month thing too? Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to have to cut this down some more, but at least this will get it to a manageable size. So I thought about doing this ahead of time and I thought, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. And I'll tell you why I wanted to use this as a cover 
because I think in between, I don't know if you can see, probably can't in here. Okay, there you go. You can see the flowers and things. I'm thinking in the spaces between there, I'm going to fill it with white French knots. What do you think? All right, so then that would mean Uh, one, two, three, that's okay. So I can get this one out of there. Cause I just, that stuff's not a lot of fun to sew on. I know from experience. All right. And what do I want as the center spread? This could be kind of interesting. All right, and I do, I don't like the pinked edges, so I do tend to cut those off. Let's see if I have anything else over here that'll... Uh... Oh, maybe I do have a good pair. Continue the daily share the wins on your page and once a month on the group page. Oh, well, I'm not gonna get rid of the daily happies on my Facebook page, that's for sure. Once a month on the group page to do the wins. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Cause I, you know, and you were one of the people that pointed it out to me last week, Joanne, that that I was really going kind of crazy and close. To, I, I was gonna approach burnout and I don't want to burn out. Um I'm okay if our group does not. Uh, grow super fast. I rather like the fact that we're getting to know one another and I feel bad that I'm, you know, just posting stuff and not participating more. Fiona says, I guess we're all concentrating, no chat. Michelle says, great tech tip. If you are on a desktop, you can copy and paste the links Terry just put up there in a note and it will hyperlink to the channels and put the thumbnail of the channel next to it for future use. Nice. Terry says, I have trouble doing anything consistently. If it wasn't for John depending on me for dinner, I would forget to cook. <laughs> hey, Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie Society. What a great name. Sherry, thank you for inviting Barbara to come over. So happy to have you join us. I am working on a, starting a couple of Just Because books. All right, that's a nice size. I do not expect the pages to be the same size because goodness knows by the time we get to the end of these books, they're gonna be, well, at least mine will be fat because they always get stuffed. Michelle's already stitching, that's awesome. Michelle is great at working while we chat here. I'm gonna lose all those loose threads, but don't you know when I cut this off that I'm going to save those loose threads? And all this stuff is going to ravel. So one of the first things I do is I do a blanket stitch or some kind of a stitch around the edges. This one has a little bit of uh, glue left on it from, um, you know, pulling it out of the upholstery book. And that's okay because, you know, it's not going to take anything to cover that up. Sue says, I am happy to run in and out to tend to our senior dog needs. Oh, that's hard. Oh, uh, Terry, can you please post the link to the um, Facebook group? It's also in the description down below this video. Victoria says, I'm going to be AWOL in the group as well as social media in general starting next week as I'm starting to work at my brother's new cafe three days a week. That's fabulous. Hello, Journey. So tell me, while I'm cutting some of these things up here, tell me... Um, what you guys are doing and okay, no, first, first off, say, give me a yes in the comments if you are making a black and white journal. And I will confess to you guys, okay, while you guys are commenting yes or no, are you doing it? Um, I'm hoping that this will help some more exposure for my YouTube channel. There's the link for you, Lenny. Um, so I appreciate you guys posting the hashtag or mentioning my name and my channel. 
those of you that have done that in the past, I'm super, super grateful because, you know, our communities grow based on word of mouth a lot better than anything else. Oh, look at all those yeses. Michelle says yes, just not today. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you. Candace says, looks like I'll be doing two. Yep, you and me both. It's hard when you look and see how much you have. It's like, well, how can I leave anything out, right? All right, which one's the biggest page? So now if you don't have black and white fabric, but you have some black ink, or you have some black paint, um, you know what, Sue? It might. I don't know. But you could certainly link to my channel. You could link to, you know, the. Um, there's going to be a playlist. I started the playlist right now. There's just the first video on it. Lenny's going to join in. Oh, that's fabulous. Barbara is sending Sherry a quick question now. Um, you can stamp on white fabric. Michelle says, I wanted to see how to approach it first. Yeah, and it's... Um, the approach will vary. The approach will vary. Okay, let's decide. I don't want that to be quite as big. Yeah, when you guys share my channel, it's amazing. I'm really, really grateful for that. Yes, yeah, so many participating. That's fabulous. Victoria says, yes, absolutely, but it will be done between other projects and working at the cafe. I stopped putting a time restraint on any and all except my design team projects as I was getting too overwhelmed. Yes, absolutely. Terry is working on building her inventory for her recycled aluminum earrings so she can wholesale. That's amazing. Hey, Sue, welcome. So glad to have you join us as we start. The black and white just because book challenge. And for those of you that don't know, what is a just because book? It's a little book made of fabric or paper or both that you work in just because it makes you happy. All right, let's cut the edge off here. It doesn't have to be a journal. It doesn't have to have a theme. It's just for the joy of working on it. Victoria says, like you say, I was in my head thinking, yeah, I can do this, that, and the other. And then in reality, it was just way too much to take on. Yeah. And, you know, there's stuff that we might have been able to do when we were a lot younger, but some things as we get older, okay, this is the cover. So I want it to be a little bit bigger, which means I'm going to have to cut these pages down a bit. And that's okay. That is okay. Very good self-management, Victoria. Yeah, got to take care of yourself. Absolutely. All right. So if I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut some of the papery part off. And there are easier ways to do this. And if I wasn't live at the same time, I would probably do it a little differently. But that's okay. Now, I have two choices. Okay. If this is my cover... And the pages that I already cut are this long. I can cut them off to fit inside the cover, okay? Or I could stagger them. And I could say, I know I want this to be the center. You would think that when I when they do the time change, they could possibly add a few hours for us crafters. Yes, I like that, Barbara. Barbara Clark says, I've been thinking, I always take apart those dialogue books and restitch them into two signatures. I'm thinking of taking the second one out so I can do stuff on my sewing machine. Good idea. So I could do this. Instead of cutting anything off, I could just make these longer. So then the book would open like this. And I would have a short page, a longer page, a short page. Make sure everybody is in live chat and not top chat so you don't miss anything. Okay. 
Okay. But I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a great size. It's about four by six, which tends to be my standard size. They fit well in the palm of my hand. But I'm not sure. Now I'm looking at this and wondering if this one should be the center spread and it should be all kinds of knots, which would mean I could do this. Could be just all white stitching and beads, which would be a really nice center spread. Okay, that's what I think I want to do on that one. So we're going to make this one just standard sizes. Hey, Sharon, good morning to you. And we're going to cut this off just a little bit. Okay, Susan, off to a work meeting. And I'll put the, the replay up. Okay, so I kind of like that idea. And we're going to make this, I'm going to cut this just a little bit off. This is not velvet, but it, it feels very soft like that. And it's got that kind of a nap on it. All right, Terry's asking for 12 more likes. So it's, it's flat right now, not very fluffy, but that's okay. Yep, I'm liking that. Okay. Now, this one. It's going to be a really thick cover because I want to do that back to back. So let's figure out. Barbara says, I came, I subbed, I liked. Awesome. Thank you. And yes, those of you that are new here, I do go through this dithering back and forth a bunch. Tis what I do. All right. Um, I had saved this upholstery fabric for the longest time because it's, it's kind of embossed and it makes a really good um, imprint. Hey, Jamie on um, jelly plate. Barbara says, I am thinking of at allowing one color in as a contrast on some of the pages. Yeah, Sandy, big mama said she was gonna add like a splash of red. I think that would be really pretty. So like, um, what do I have that's colored here? You could add a splash of red. You could add a splash of green. You could add blue, or you could add a splash of, um, of bling, which would really shine. Let's bring you down a little more. All right, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hot pink, yep. I don't have any hot pink, but there's some purple. Oh, teal would be beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. You know, against the black and white, really pretty. See, and I was really thinking about doing a white cover and then doing it like I did the beads on the Book of Bling and uh, just adding just the white sparkly beads on the cover. So I might still cut a third cover. I might. I just couldn't find any thick um, fabric. Yeah, thanks for being my keeper. I appreciate that. All right, let's cut the end off here. And of course, you know, I don't toss any of these. Kathy said, just did some digging in a box of fabric I have here at the shop and found some black and white to use. So I'm in. Oh, nice. You don't have to use black and white thread. Remember, the whole idea of a Just Because book is to have a good time doing it. So if you start off thinking, oh, I'm going to do that, and you go a completely different direction, that's fine. 
Um, I, I want you guys to make it your own. Uh, let's see. Let us, I am going to just, I don't know if I'll keep this white one that long, but I could add a cluster of the black brocade, but flipped for a pop of teal. Barbara says, we don't have to do anything. That's right, Journey. We don't have to do anything. Wait a minute. What did somebody say? Hot pink lime turquoise. That was Terry's suggestion. Yeah. Stitch with a colored thread. One color maybe all the way through. Yeah. Or you could take your um, your edges. If you were going to do like I do, you know, to the buttonhole of the edges, you could just pick one color to do that and then do the pages in black and white. This is just a great way to get you guys started on doing your own just because book and realize that, you know, if you have felt constrained before because you watched somebody's video and they did things a certain way, you don't have to. Chef's kiss. So what do you mean your stash is a chef's kiss? How would you describe that to that? It's all about what calls to you. Yeah. I want to do black and white and black instead of black and white. <laughs> Go for it. Yep. I real I I am going to do an all white one though, I think, and an all black one. I um just not with this particular building session. All right. So if I square these off, plus shades of gray. Yeah, and again, the black and the cream look so beautiful. It's a completely different rich look. Did Barbara ask a question and I missed it? I hope not. Let me go back up here. If I've talked past your questions at any time, please just type them in again because I have a monitor. You can't see me pointing, but right in front of me and your chat comes up as I'm working and I watch it all. And I try and always read out what you guys are doing. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. Didn't want anybody to, especially people that are new, don't want them to feel left out. I want them to know how amazing we are here. All right. So by the time I cut the edges off here, we should be fine size wise. Now, something else you could do, which is something Susan Hiles did in uh, her recent Just Because book, and I have done this in the past too, is you can stitch your book together and then you can do whatever you're going to do in black and white and attach that to the pages. You have many, many options. All right, let's see if we can get this. Yeah, I've just never been a fan of the zigzag edges. I think because it reminds me of home ec class, which was not a fun experience for me in school. So um, too many ideas. I know I was thinking about doing a, a page with ideas that you guys could download. Hey, Denise. So happy to have you here. Thank you. She says, I love your live chats. So people, we are approaching a big milestone on my channel, and it's because of all of the help you guys do in coming here and letting YouTube know that you like my, my videos and my lives. Um, and I was thinking about doing, instead of just doing a standard giveaway, I was thinking about doing something a little different that has to do uh, with a digi kit. But it's going to be a big one. Barbara says, I was just thinking they reminded me of home yuck. Yeah, that's exactly what they make me think of. And I don't know about you, but I did not do well in home uck. 
my home ec teacher was my PE teacher and she was a fabulous PE teacher. She was also my track coach and I loved that. But um, she was, I'll just say it, she was not kind to those of us. And I don't think there was anybody that was shining in the home ec class. I think it was all, um, nobody was gonna make her happy. Plus, if I cut the edges and things start to fray, then I have a, you know, a reason, like I need one, to um, buttonhole the edges. All right, let's just. So would you guys like a sheet of all the ideas that you could download and just kind of uh, twisted junk journal whose name I've suddenly forgotten. Maybe Barbara has it on her list or Terry. Welcome. Hello and happy day to you. I wonder if anybody came over. I did post it just before noon over on Instagram, but I don't know if anybody saw it over there. Hey, Angie, how are you doing? My fairy treasures. All right, if that's the cover, then we'll do white. Oh, I could do this one a little differently. Just thought of that. And then black. And then white. Do I want that as the center? So now, It's got this embossed thing, and I'm thinking, you know, I could use these lines. Twisted as Vicky. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm thinking I could use these lines as something to do some straight stitches and then maybe French knots. So I think that's my center, which means let's swap these guys. I spend way too much time going back and forth trying to decide which pages are going to go in which order, but that's okay. Well, you are here now, Vicki, and that's what matters, right? All right. So yeah, I just, I think this would be really cool to stitch around and then it'll give me something different on the other side. Now, do I want to cut the pages down? Do I want to use the excess no, I don't like doing them like that. Yeah, there's a fly stitch on the curves would be great there. And that's another thing you could do. You could just um, do like felt or wool pages and then just do an experiment and do your stitches on every one. Jamie says, my schools were great. In home ec and art classes, we sat and did our time. No teaching, no learning, no doing nothing. And some wonder why that school district does not exist anymore. <laughs> wow. Well, y'all know the story of my art class. It was not good. All right. So I got to decide how big the cover is going to be. If this... Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. Vicki says, I um, watch the live, but I will go to the replays if I'm not able to catch you. So you are watched. Sue says, and then after the page placement is settled, the pages get decorated and I change my mind about where they ought to go. Well, one thing I have done in the past is I have just done a basting stitch. So I kind of knew where my center was. And then did all the decorating of the pages. And then if I wanted to move things around, I could just take out the basting stitch before I sewed everything in permanent. So that, that is an option for you. All right. How, when I was in uh, 10th grade, I went to a different school for one year for a really dumb reason. Um, and there was a teacher there it didn't show the live chat. You didn't know which was the original or the recap. Does it matter? No, anything you comment on is awesome. And the, the thumbnail should uh, always show, uh, should say recap on it. So interesting. I wonder, last week's didn't show. I wonder if I changed something accidentally on the live chat. I hope not. I hope not. 
Does somebody want to go over to last week's live and see if the chat is there now? Because sometimes it doesn't show up right away. Jamie says, people that couldn't read and write passed too. Well, I had this teacher in the 10th grade that he did not give us grades. We had to grade ourselves. And so we had to write. It was a writing class. And we had to write what we thought our grades should be and then write supporting documentation for it. Um, and it was a creative writing class. So that got to be really, really exciting. You can comment on all of them. If you watch something six months ago, you can go back and comment on it. And all of that helps me. Okay. This is my center. And then this. So then this and this and this one do we want to make it a flippy out thing i don't think so i'm gonna make it easy on myself i mean really i i make everything difficult for myself and i don't want to do that i need to stop making things hard hello malaya how are you malaya malia I never remember. Is it the I or the E? You don't see the live chat in last week's either. Wow. So that means if there's something that I accidentally did in a setting, this one might not show up either. But you can always comment below the video. You won't comment in the live chat. You'll comment just, um, but you should see the live chat. Oh, the stream live is now, the chat is now showing on the stream. Okay. Yeah. It's whatever I want. Oh, bless your heart. Angie says, besides collage in class, creative writing was my other favorite thing to do. Yeah, it was my favorite. Absolutely. Okay, but this is still too fat. This doesn't, I don't know why this, when I'm looking at the two of them here, this feels better to me than this. Is there a certain number of pages you should put in? No. I will tell you what I do. Backseat driver. Absolutely. I like a cover. And then I like four pages, which gives you eight. That's what I like because then I can kind of carry this book through, finish it more quickly. I have done some that had like 30 or 40 pages in them. It, it was too much. By the end of it, it was like, well, what can I do that's different on the next page? And so I like that feeling of accomplishment that comes when we finish something. We can say, look, this is it. I did it. I'm done. I don't like the square on this. I don't know why. So... If I want to make it, this will be a little smaller. Isn't that going to be great? I'm going to sew the two sides together because it's got this, this brocade here. There is Malaya's Etsy shop. I'll tell you people, you love neat books and old books and old papery things. She's always got something fun over there. All right, we're going to make it a little bit. I want it more of a rectangle. So I also stink when someone, and you do not have to hand stitch this. You could put your pages together like this. Ah. Sew it down the center on the sewing machine. Hey, Shauna, how you doing, sweetheart? Yeah, Malaya lo loves looking for old weird books and you find them and you get great deals and you pass them on to your shoppers, which is great. Okay. Let's figure out how big we want this one. I just, the link to Malaya's Etsy isn't working. Okay. She'll fix it. Terry's on that kind of stuff. What it is about the, wow. We've got a nice turnout here today. Thank you all. Okay, put that aside. Now, does it look a little bit, still looks a little square, doesn't it? Well, it won't be totally black when it's done. I'm going to put French knots all over the front of it in white. Wow, I can't cut straight to save my soul, can I? All right, that's fine, but it just doesn't, it still looks, doesn't look right. which is not something I should be worried about, but I am. All right, let's try again. Let's just take, just 
just need to clean off just a little. Am I, I'm not going the wrong direction, am I on it? Just thought of that. You know, that would make it too small. This is me. This is my process, people. You wonder how I work? This is how I work. It's crazy. Sharon says, I woke up this morning. Last week was a struggle. Sorry, I was a no-show. Well, you know, you make so many things early. I'm always impressed. See, I can't, I can't even pin straight. No wonder Mrs. Armstrong never gave me a good grade in home ec. I should just leave it, huh? You were devastated when you realized you'd missed us last week. That's sweet. Okay, I'm going to leave it, I think. It's an odd size. Hmm. I'm really making this tough. Maybe I need another piece. Just leave it alone, right? Yeah, it's the, the fabric is fighting me. You are quite right. Hey, Doreen. But it feels so cushy good. It feels so cushy good. <clears throat> Barbara says, tomorrow I'm picking up my service singer from the early 60s. Sat in my parents' home for almost 50 years and never used it. So excited. Cherry referred me to the service dude. That's awesome. Sharon says, I think it'll feel the right size when you start stitching in it, hopefully. Vicki says, I like your process. It makes me feel oh so much better because I too am a guest redo all the time. It is exhausting. I agree. But I think it's okay. I think what I should do on this black one is get it stitched together before I do anything else. That's what I'm thinking. And then I can decide. So let's just grab now black thread. No, white thread, right? Because we want to give a hint as to what's coming. And because these only have a few pages and I just sew them together with a, um, you know, three hole pamphlet stitch, if you decide the cover no longer works, you can take it off and do something else. Or you can put, you know, if I go to all the work and get this thing together and I don't like the cover, well, I can take something else and put on the cover. I've got, I've got so much to play with in black and white. Sue says, don't forget to give her a thumbs up if you've come in lately. I appreciate that. All right. Oh, why did I do it that way? Ooh, I got lucky. Maybe. Mostly lucky. Let's see. I can't even remember if I've ever done anything in just black and white. So... Let me cut the frayed edge off. There we go. Yeah, we were talking about, you know, the different colors you could, you know, add to make a little pop if you wanted to on it. Barbara says, okay, I've just been through my stash and I have a bunch of black and white scraps. This is already fun. I'm going to start making some clusters. Awesome. Michelle says, my black velvet isn't real either. I've got some real velvet, but this the stuff that I'm going to use in the book is not. Um, 
It's very vintage, almost falling apart after I washed it by hand a couple days ago. Ooh. Susan says, I'm back. I like adding pops of pink when I work in black and white. Oh, lovely. Hi, Carol. Michelle says, I'm so used to adding lots of color that this is a real challenge for me. Yeah. And you know me, I'm used to the earthy colors. So this is definitely different. Malaya says, I built a series of journals many moons ago that were all black and white. They were so nice and clean. Nice. 46 people watching. Hi to all the secret squirrels from Victoria and from me. We really appreciate you being here. Vicki says, I'm thinking of doing a very small white one. I don't have black. Well, remember, there's black ink, there's black stamp pads, there's black paint. Decorating my planter planner while watching you, my guilty pleasure. Nice. Fiona says, I made a black and white quilt for my nephew. Some scraps left. Woohoo! Carol says, hi, Susan. And Susan had to come and see you start this project. Well, I'm glad you popped over. All right. And this is a little different than normal since this is a double sheet. So uh, even more so I need to do this. And... When I'm doing a just because, well, when I'm doing any kind of stitching, I am kicking the perfectionist to the curb. I'm not trying to go in a straight line. Um, I am going to want to pin this a little bit more just because it is going to shift. It's kind of slippery. And as I'm thinking about this here, probably the smart thing to do, let's be smart. I don't do this very often but I did think of this before I got much farther. Um, looking for a different color. All right. Hey, Linda. You could use some of the thread that's black. Yep, I mean, it's just, again, there are no rules. There is only joy. All right. I'm not even going to separate this. Well, now maybe I will because it's, I don't want to leave big holes. So what I'll try and remember to do is turn on the video. Every time I work on the black and white, they won't all be done by next week's live. So we'll be doing this next week too. And while I'm doing this little thing here, uh, whoops. Bear with me. If you're on Instagram or you post a YouTube video, you can link to my channel and you can use that hashtag. All right, I'm going to be smart and just do a little bit of basting here. That would be like the smartest thing I could do on this cover. Oh, thank you. Victoria is sharing the introductory video. Corinne says, I have some black and white, not black and white material to use. I should just start. Yeah, don't overthink it because this will be black. But see, this has got solid colors, solid colors. You know, I really was thinking I would just grab five pieces of felt. and just show you what you could do with that five pieces of white felt because then you could use an old sheet uh pillowcase dish towel you know it's just like collage for mixed media you just need a background to get started and then you just keep building it up if you have gesso you could absolutely gesso your pages which would give you a different kind of texture to st stitch into you could um, hit it with some black paint, some white paint. Uh, I do want to do one where I drip some ink on the paper or on the um, fabric. Okay, that should hold that nicely. That'll keep it from slipping all over the place. Okay. Let's see if I can zip through this. I don't know. Okay, and if I forget where I am, you guys do this, and then you like, oh, my goodness, 
I ruined it because I didn't do the stitch right. Yeah, I could fix it, but why worry about that? I don't worry about that. I just come right back up. And you know, I like to do these wonderful little loopy loos. Bring you down a little bit. Carol sorted out some bins are some bits already. Nice. I just stop every so often because I like this kind of a of a look. Now I could go back and do this with an embroidery stitch, of course. Okay, Barbara has to leave. She needs to hang my dining room sheer curtains, which have been soaking in the tub. Getting into the step ladder. I dream I'm with Circus Soleil. <laughs> nice meeting you. Looking forward to seeing you join us again. So I like to leave little loops like that just because that's my kind of thing. You don't have to. I like all the little unraveling that's going to start. There is Miss Terry's Etsy shop where you can go see her beautiful jewelry and her fabulous um, ephemera packages. I okay, even turned this over and now I'm stitching on the opposite side. I bought a beautiful um, hair clip from her that I love. Barbara says, I have to say today is a first. The first time I've needed to bring my tiny iron into the art room. <laughs> I bought a tiny iron ages ago for one project, and I don't think I even took it out of the package yet. Because I'm the only one that's ever done that, right? You buy a bunch of stuff that you think you need because you watch somebody else doing it. And um, then you find out that you don't need it after all or you don't use it. Did Diane sneak in and I didn't see her? Good morning if you did, Diane. Thank you, Victoria. I appreciate you sharing the link to the Facebook group. I love it when you guys join over there. Yeah, I think the tiny iron is a great idea. Um, I just don't think of it when I, you know, I I think there's some places I still don't have quite set up right. Okay, the wonkier the stitching goes, the more I love it. Love it, love it, love it when it goes all wonky. So, perfect. No, don't worry about perfect. Sue says, I'm trying to resist buying watercolors to play with. Oh, so much fun you can have with the watercolors. I stink at it, but I have fun with it. Barbara says, this little iron is great. We take it to quilting workshops, and it's handy to have our own little pressing table. Nice. Oh, you were sneaky, Diane. I think what I have to do is I've got to arrange a few things over here um, to my right so that I can plug it in. I've got a, a four plug outlet there, but I think we need to adjust the power strip so I can get more things plugged in there. Joanne says, I bought a crop of dial and can't figure out how to use it. Every time I wanted to use mine, I had to go look at a uh, video. I finally basically stopped using it. Victoria says, can someone please tag me in the group next Wednesday to remind me what day it is? I forgot what day it is again. Yep, I can do that. We can tag you. We can do that. Yeah, resistance is futile. <laughs> also down in the description box on this video is a link for my newsletter that um, I hope you guys will sign up for. It's not one of those where you're going to get something in your, your email box every week. It'll be more like an occasional. Hey, Joan, welcome. Glad you made it. Fiona says, I just succumbed to buying some fabric paints and it includes black. Win-win. Yes. Yeah, I have not opened my fabric paints uh, for a while and I, I need to get to that. Victoria says, I'll be working all week all day, all week next week. So I'll definitely be lost with the days. Yes. If you use Google calendar, you can set a reminder. You just set it up that it's a recurring 
event. And then Google will remind you. All right, because I'm going to tie off, I'm going to make a big old messy knot here. And all right, that's okay there. See, you're going to see maybe a little bit of the, the blue there, and I don't care. I don't care. Michelle, is it super hot over at your place today? Because it is. it was like 75 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning. We're going to have a few hot days here. Whew, I'm already realizing I'm warm. I'm going to need to open the doors later tonight and get my fan out. Get some fabric medium and it turns most paints into fabric paints. Absolutely. You can do that with those watercolors you're going to buy, Sue. <laughs> it's 80 here today for Malaya, and she's loving it. Well, 80 is about as hot as I'd like to go. It's getting pretty warm, but there's a nice breeze. Tomorrow's going to be about 95 in April. So weird. Set reminders and end up ignoring them a lot or promptly forget shortly afterwards what they're reminding me about. Yeah, I do that too. I'll look over at my phone and I'll see some, you know, unusual icon. I'm like, what is that? Oh, yeah. Kathy says, I am happy it's above freezing now. Yep. All right, let's just see how fast I can do this because I would like to at least get these center stitch together. It's raining for Vicky. We could sure use the rain. I don't know that we're going to get any more. And have to figure out what um, plants in the pots we're going to have to let die. I'm not going to be able to keep them all going. Wow, and Joanne's got snow flurries forecasted in a couple of days. Well, it is nice for the, the lemon trees, which are we picked over 20 lemons yesterday. Where is Joanne? Joanne, are you in Georgia? Is that right? Do I remember right? Carol says we hit double figures, 11 degrees here and 9 p.m. Wow. Oh, the wonkier this is, the better it is. Because especially if you start off going wonky right away, then it like, you don't have to worry anymore. It's like, okay, you know, I missed being perfect. So now I don't have to worry about it anymore. The pressure is off. Oh, she's in Kentucky. Joanne's in Kentucky. We had rain all week. Yeah, Diane, I bet you don't want to see rain for a while. But Sharon's got it. Okay. Yeah, you got hit with way too much. You know, like if I was trying to make um, a perfect journal, I would approach this completely differently. But my attitude about art is, you know, we put too much pressure on ourselves. Whether you're trying to, to create things to sell or you're just doing it for the pleasure of your own, you know, work, that's fine. But we still, even if it was just something we were doing for ourselves, it's like, oh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Please don't get hung up on being perfect. Nothing in life is perfect. And the, the time that we spend striving for that perfection, we miss. We miss all the joy that we would get in the creating. Sue says, snow in April in Kentucky has to be unusual. Joan says, there's one stitch that I'd like to learn. It looks like it would make flower stems. Um, what stitch, do you know the name of the stitch, a stem stitch, an outline stitch? We can do a little video on that or possibly do something on a scrap here. Susan says, Carol, your temperature is in Celsius, right? I don't remember where Carol is located. 
Malaya says, everything I do is wonky. I cut wonky, sew wonky, stitch wonky, glue wonky. Yes. I embrace the wonk. I didn't used to. But you know what? I made myself miserable trying to be perfect all the time. I really did. And who wants to be miserable all the time? I don't know. Oh, couching is wonderful for, for uh, flower stems. Couching is very easy, and I definitely have plans to do some of that in this book. All right, here, let's see. We can stretch this a little bit. What well, makes me nervous? I mean, not today, but I mean, it's it's hot and then it's windy, and so that just reminds me that come summer. Okay, so see now, I I managed to split the thread. Willy Wonka's sister. Yes. And I'm not going to worry about, okay, so Carol's in the UK. I'm not going to worry about that. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll get the um, blanket stitch done so that I can not worry about the unraveling and then I'll come back around and do it again. Or I'll come back with my threads and add more of the little loops. Sharon oh, says, is every listing I make say wonky somewhere? That's good. Sharon says, it was fun watching you be messy on purpose when you first started stitching. I love that. Yeah, it just, it takes all the pressure off. Woot, woot, Jude is here. Hello, my friend. How are you today? It is no fun to be perfect. It's not. Susan said, many years ago, I had to teach myself, um, doing mixed media, I had to teach myself to be messy. I am still all about messy. That's great. And now we watch, how many times does it take to thread a needle? I purposely picked a needle with a big eye. because I didn't have to be, um, because I knew this was going to be just some imperfect stitching. I just want to use up this white thread so then I can sew things together. So let's talk about not perfect before I stitch this in. I might cut a little bit off. So see, I've got, I got an uneven edge here. Oh my goodness, the blue is showing. Oh my goodness. Do I need to stop? Do I need to toss this away? No, I don't. Here's what I could do. I could decide to couch something there. I could decide to, um, I don't have any here, that big piece. I could put lace there to cover it up. I could get my paintbrush and cover it up, or I could just leave it alone and not worry about it. Carol says, messy is fun, so it's hard. It's so hard somehow, though I need to really. Yeah, sometimes it does feel like it's hard to be messy. It's hard to let go of um, the expectations that we put on ourselves or that society puts on us. All right, I think I'm going to, re I really want to get fast on here because I don't have a lot of time. Vicki says, I'm messing in everything. Husband knows, knows it too when I do the laundry. Uh-oh. Sherry's getting a package from Jude. Lucky, lucky Sherry. Ooh. Stock your mailman. Yep. Yeah, so normally I don't put this much effort into getting a cover, but there's just something about the feel of this fabric. And really, that is, uh, to me, a Just Because book especially because I'm going to be working in it, you know, with the joy that I get from working in it, not for any other reason. Uh, it has to feel good in my hands. It absolutely has to feel good in my hands. And normally I do this sort of blanket stitch after I've got the book stitched together. But uh, since this one was two pieces of fabric folded together, we're just, we're just going to do it real quick. Michelle says, I'm stitching a simple circle in a circle and it's making me happy. I just had to do this for one page. Perfect. Sharon says, story of my life. I want to get fast all the time. It isn't something I'm known for. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, being fast isn't all it's cracked up to be. We forget to stop and smell the roses. If you're an expert blanket stitcher and you don't like the way I'm doing it, I'm sorry, but this is working for me. Jude says, got all the time on my side now. Whoop, whoop. Yep. The joys of retirement. <clears throat> Water, before Victoria can remind me. Barbara says, wanted to let you all know what I found at Michael's last week. It's a bundle of black and white trims, ribbon lace cord. It's called a trim bundle by Celebrate It. It's $9.97, but you can get a coupon. Nice. Jude says, I'm sniffing out those roses hard. I am so glad. You certainly have earned it. You have earned that time. So I'm going to need to come back in with some more white thread, but this will be enough to keep it from flying open while I stitch it together. Yep, it's just got to feel good in my hand. It absolutely has to feel good in my hand. All right, and then we're going to tie this one off. Losing my... Ah. Don't come out. Oh, this already come out of the needle. Oh, well. All right, we're just gonna let that go like that. Now I can pull out my basting thread. All right, so now we have a wonky cover, which is wonderful. And we wanted this to be. And even when I sew these together, I mean, they don't necessarily come out exactly in half and it's okay all right um now you can do a three hole pamphlet stitch or one of the other things that's fun to do is to just do a straight stitch because then you can add some loops or things to it and i'm not sure I think I'm going to do black. Hmm. Oh, oh, what if we do this? What if we combine them? <clears throat> That's on the other book. So I'm doing two books. And this one will have the black and white. Jude, this is a first for me to do the black and white. I like the idea that some people had, though, that they were going to... Um, Add a pop of color to each of the pages. I'm going to cut this really long. And let's see if I have anything, because I don't think I have a needle threader over here. Do I have anything I can actually get this through? Here's my, my needle threaders. Well, I didn't intend originally to do two, but it just sort of unfolded that way. Yeah, I really need a needle threader. Oops, beads just went flying to the floor. Aha. Slowly making a dent in all the upholstery fabric. All right, let's see if we can get, can I get that through? Nope, not without pulling off my, I should have done it one at a time. All right, let me try it again. Because I don't have any bigger needles right handy. Oh, Susan, just make it easy on yourself. 
I'd like to cut it in, not cut it in half, pull them in half. I want six threads and I want three black and three white. Hey, Gary, big hug. Make sure Jude gives you a big hug from me. Zoe is zonked out in Eric's office sleeping because she got up early with him at like 5.30 this morning. All right, and I still, wow. All right. There's three strands of black. And let's see if we can get... Sorry, this is the boring part. All right, now. Hopefully, it's a nice big eye. It should be able to take six strands just fine. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and I really, really casually stitch these together. Sue says, my personal stitching freedom comes from just using the stitches I like to do best. I love that. That's why you saw so many bullion knots recently from me and lots of French knots and colonial knots. I love doing knots. All right, let's see if I'm pretty much in the center. Pretty close. So he says, I'm not a fan of running stitch, for example, but I could feather stitch all day long. Yeah, we get our favorites. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm going to give myself lots of room. And again, if it's crooked, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I actually end up usually holding them in my mouth, holding the end of the threads in my mouth and pulling them apart that way. So maybe it's a good thing that you guys couldn't see me on camera. Yeah, there's just something about doing knots. I don't know what it is. That is close enough. I'm not going to worry about it being exactly in the same hole, especially with, with fabric. It's a little bit more give and take. Let's see. I want to kind of... I should have been paying attention to the length of it when I was stitching and I didn't. All right, because I really want it to be. Ah. There we go. I wanted to have enough that I could actually maybe do some beads or something at the end. All right, the other one should be much more simple. All right. Now I will go along and continue the blanket stitch along here and here. But there is one. Let's see if we can quick stitch this one together since it's all cut right. We should be able to. Yeah, it's a nice way to get a variegated thread to mix your, your threads in the needle. You get a nice variegated thread. Am I doing the same thing? I am doing the same thing, aren't I? Oh well, that's fine. Uh, this one, 
I'm going to use just the black thread wherever my black thread went. I have a real hard time not licking my fingers and sorting through papers on the camera. You know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. These are still a little long. I'm going to cut this off just a little bit. So I really don't want to do any flips on this. These are going to be some simple ones that we can just... And I think we're going to make it a little less tall. There we go. All right. Black thread. Hey, Mariah. Happy you could pop in and say hello. So we start the black and white journal. I don't know, do I like the, and this one, I think I'm just gonna use the black. <clears throat> Victoria says, I could listen to the sound of fabric being cut, especially torn all day long. Well, there you go. There's an MSR, whatever, ASMR thing that somebody could do. Uh, whoops, I got these out of order, didn't I? Um, I think I will do that in the same way there. But what did I do here? That way? That way. All right. It's really nice, like if um, when I'm doing flowers, I like to take like maybe three threads of, you know, like three shade, three shades of the same color. So like I would take a dark purple, a medium purple and a light purple and you mix them together. Really comes out nice when you're making a lot of knots. All right, in this one, maybe what we'll do, we'll do it from the inside. All right, is that close enough to the center? Let's see, close enough. I am not gonna be picky. Cause you can always, okay, if you've done this and afterwards, after your book's all done and you think it's all wonky, you can always take something else and cover the side. Yeah, Mariah, this is our challenge. Black and white just because book. Add a fabric, add a paper, or mix them together um, using the hashtag that's on the screen. Hopefully to, to share them and get more people excited. But uh, yeah, all black and white. And people, we've been talking about different ways that you could do this. And, you know, you could add a pop of color on each page if you wanted to. You could do one book that was all one color. Just kind of fun to stretch ourselves and see where it takes us. There is some really neat fabric to play with here. This is going to be fun. Close enough. Wow, I was hoping that I would get both of these stitched together by the end today, and I did, so that's pretty cool. There we go. We have, Mariah says, I need to finish my Dita collaged foam head. She is black and white. Oh, perfect. So, this will be this one. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to stitching along all of those. 
and then <coughs> this one. It's a nice size to work in. Random fact of the day from Malaya, Compton encyclopedias are very well built. <laughs> All right, these are going to be fun to play in. So I've got two, and I will turn the video on whenever I'm working in them, and we will see where they take us on this journey. I cannot wait to see what you guys um, create. Share them in the Facebook group. Share them on your social media. Use the hashtag that's listed on the screen right now. I just can't wait to see. And I'm excited for those of you that are going to play along with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, so many books, some books are really made to last. Thank you, Victoria. I think the older books were made more to last. It was a different uh, generation. Yeah, this is going to be fun and we'll see what happens next. I'll try and uh, limit myself so I don't spend all much time, you know, waffling around on what to go wear. Barbara says, I'm ready to start stitching my first embellishment. Woohoo! Nice. Fiona says, thanks for a fun evening. So fun, Sharon. Joanne loves them both. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks for the comments you leave on the videos. It lets YouTube know you kind of like me. I appreciate it. I will see y'all next week, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.